Scale insects are small pests that often go unnoticed by homeowners until their damage is made apparent. They can kill or stunt the growth of plants, cause black mold to form on leaves, or even attract activity from other pests like ants or wasps. Scale insects may be tiny, but if ignored, they can create problems with seemingly healthy plants. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of scale insects so your home and garden can stay pest-free. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about scale control, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Scales are small, round, or elliptical insects that vary in size but are generally between 1 16th to 3 8 of an inch in length. Scales can be divided into two groups, armored scales and soft scales. Armored scales have their own dry protective covering, while soft scales need to produce waxy shells and honeydew. Honeydew is a sugary waste material that can attract other pests, like ants or wasps. When this material is left unconsumed, it eventually rots and invites a black fungus called sooty mold to overtake plant leaves. In a scale infestation, you'll generally only see the female scales. Scales showcase an extreme case of sexual dimorphism, where the males and females of the same species vary greatly in appearance. Female scales resemble little bumps, or like their namesake, fish scales, growing along the side of a plant or leaf. They have no legs and cannot move once they've chosen where to feed. Male scales are rare to encounter, and they resemble flying insects. They have a head, thorax, abdomen, a pair of antennae, eyes, and six legs. Most species even have functional wings and two tail filaments. Depending on the species, scales go through one or two generations per year. Most species hatch from eggs, while some are birthed live. From there, both males and females have legs and are referred to as crawlers. They'll shed their skin several times as they grow larger. Males will eventually develop their body parts, while females will find a spot to feed and shed their legs, becoming fixed in place for the rest of their lives. Male scales cannot feed and will die several days after emerging. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Depending on the species, scales will feed on trees, shrubs, or even house plants. On herbaceous plants, you can often find scales settling along stems or leaf veins since those are the biggest sources of moisture in a plant. You can also find scales on fruits or underneath bark. If you suspect heavy pest activity, be on the lookout for the common signs of infestation. Yellow dying leaves, honeydew drippings, black sooty mold from rotting honeydew, and warped or stunted plant growth. Some types of scales, like mealybugs, will produce cotton-like webbing as well. Take note of where you find scales or signs of their activity as you'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of scales in large areas, you'll need to use a pesticide like Dominion 2L. Dominion 2L is a systemic insecticide, meaning it will get absorbed into treated plants and will kill pests that feed from those plants. This is great because many pesticides are not effective on scale insects. Their shells or waxy coatings protect them from most direct spray applications. Dominion 2L is recommended for treating larger plants and landscape ornamentals. We suggest you use a hose end sprayer to easily make large volume applications. Dominion 2L will need to be applied at a rate of 0.4 to 0.6 fluid ounces per thousand square feet with at least 10 gallons of water. Getting rid of scales on trees and shrubs will require you to measure the area differently. For trees, you will need to measure the diameter of the tree trunk in inches and apply Dominion 2L at a rate of 0.1 to 0.4 fluid ounces per inch of trunk diameter with at least 10 gallons of water. For shrubs, you will need to apply Dominion 2L at a rate of 0.1 to 0.2 fluid ounces per foot of shrub height. To use the 20-gallon hose end sprayer, remove the reservoir from the nozzle. Make sure the sprayer's control valve and your water pump are off, then attach the nozzle to the hose. Add the proper amount of Dominion 2L, then fill the reservoir with enough water to treat the entire area. Double check to make sure your control valve and water pump are still off, then reattach the reservoir to the nozzle. Once you've ensured a tight connection, you can now turn the water on. To spray, push forward on the control valve. To stop, simply pull the valve back into the off position. The most effective way to apply Dominion 2L for scale control is to apply in a high volume around the base of the plant so that it can effectively reach the plant's root zone. Focus on getting the solution down to where the plant's roots reside. For flowers and ground cover, you will want to apply in a similar fashion, evenly broadcasting the solution on and around the plants. 
it's recommended that you water the area after application to further drive the Dominion 2L solution down to the plant's root zone. Keep in mind that because Dominion 2L is a systemic insecticide, it is toxic to any labeled insect that feeds on the treated plant, including bees. Do not apply Dominion 2L when bees and other pollinators are active to avoid harm. To get rid of scales on houseplants, you may want to use different options that can be used in small volumes for smaller plants. You can use either a cotton swab dipped in rubbing alcohol and apply to individual scales, or for larger infestations, use a spray bottle. Just fill the spray bottle with isopropyl alcohol and spray any scales directly. The alcohol will work to immediately burn affected scales and kill them quickly. Using alcohol on plants is generally safe for the plant, but you may want to spray a small section of the plant to look for any damage. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop scale activity is to make sure it can't happen. To prevent damage from scales, it's best to be diligent in monitoring your plants, checking for activity, and spraying your plants when necessary. Note the health of your plants, and when something doesn't seem right, address the problem as soon as possible. If you find scale insects infesting an indoor plant, be sure to isolate it from other plants to contain the population until it's eliminated. Outdoors, you can attract beneficial insects like ladybugs by growing certain plants in your garden that those insects love. Ladybugs are natural predators for scales and other sap-sucking insects, so use them as a natural deterrent for future pest activity. Activity. Finally, be sure to make reapplications of Dominion 2L quarterly. The product will remain effective for up to 90 days, killing pests that attempt to feed on treated plants. Scales are small insects that can cause serious damage to plants in your yard and potentially attract other pests like ants or wasps. But there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop scale insects from infesting your plants, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you liked this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.